Is he that bad? Sure. Why, they've named four graveyards after him already. Oh, no. no. Thanks, partner. And Undertakers, why, they go plumb local whenever he's announced. He's their best business getter. He'll be here any minute. Oh, God. The last I seen him, he was breezing along like a cyclone on that Palomino of his. I tell you folks, the best thing to do is to get out of sight and get out of sight quick. Come on, Come on over to the saloon, stranger, and I'll buy that drink. Yeah. 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 And I'm a warning you, he's most dangerous when he's smiling. That's a sure sign he's riled. Well, oh, Billy the Kid was like that. But he never looked so tough to me. No. Ain't that right? That's right, Pat. Right. Well, let me tell you something else. Whenever he comes up and slaps you on the back and calls you a partner, then your goose is cooked. You're just as good as planted. Hey, you better tell that to the children. Well, you better listen, too. Leave me out of here. Leave me out of here. I'm going to hike for the, for the hills. Yeah. Now, there's a smart hombre. Hear that? What is it? That's him now. Come out of there. And look, he's smiling too. Oh, anything can happen now. Well, they're not going to wreck my place. <laughs> Hey there! Wait a minute! Hey, can you tell me? Ah, poor old Joe. He always had a weak heart. He's fainted. Old fellow must be hungry. care of him. Yeah, it looks as though he's carrying old Joe to the undertaker. We'd like to have something to eat if you don't mind, miss. Well, I do mind. And even if I wanted to feed you, I couldn't. The restaurant's closed. And it's just such men as you who put me out of business. <laughs> I 
guess he wasn't as hungry as I thought he was. That's one shot Maori. And, mister, he's the toughest guy in this country. Yeah. Sure be fireworks around here if those two meet. Gee, miss, couldn't you just fix me up a little sandwich of any kind? I, you know, Will you please get out of here? Yes, ma'am. If you want me to. Hello, cutie. Give me some meat. Raw meat. And plenty of it. The restaurant is closed. Now you and your friend get out. Friend? What friend? Get me some grub, do you hear? And get it pronto. Hey, listen, partner. I ain't no way to talk to a lady. Besides, we both had an invite to get out. You heard her say the place was closed. Come on. Back up, hombre. Two-gun man, huh? Well, I eat two-gun men alive. I'm just gonna run you out of town with your own guns. Get going. just such men as that to cause all our trouble. No, I've got a hunch. You've heard the story about fighting fire with fire. Well, why not fight that man with them? I'm sorry, miss. Sorry? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You ought to be lynched and tarred and feathered. Yes, ma'am. Look, 
Look what you've done. You've ruined every single thing place. That menu, we didn't we didn't break it up. It's kinda out of order though. Uh, I'll, I'll fix it. Oh, don't cry. Oh, gee. Please, please don't do that. Don't do that. Well, now, Sylvester, do you think should uh, uh, approach him? Uh, after all, it was your eye, Mr. Wingate. But I merely thought that uh, perhaps uh, one of you could uh, put the proposition to him more uh, tactfully. After all, gentlemen, this is no time to consider one's party. The future and glory of our fair city is at stake. Suppose all three of us go to him, Mr. Wingate. Now, that's not a bad idea, Tobias. Glad you thought of it, boys. Come, you back me up, and I'll act as the spokesman. That's it. Got another broom, miss? I wish you'd get out of here. Gee, I want to do something, though. You've done plenty. Well, I mean... I mean, I want to try to make it up to you for what I have done. Of course, I can't... I can't pay for the damage right now because I'm... I'm broke. But if you let me wash dishes or something like that... Wash dishes? You've broken every dish in the place and then you talk about washing them. Oh, go away! <clears throat> Begging your pardon. Huh? We, we'd like to have a, a quiet, uh, a friendly little talk with you. <laughs> He's smiling. Well, uh, we'd be glad to settle for the uh, damages here if you'd be willing to consider a, a proposition of ours. You mean that? Uh, and, and possibly a, a substantial uh, a bonus for you besides. Well, what is this proposition? Well, now, if you step over to my office, I I'll explain. And if satisfactory, we'll uh, write up a contract. Well, that's great. Fine. You'll excuse me, won't you? With pleasure. My office is up the street here at the bank. Come right in, Thunderbolt. Uh, uh, sit down. You have a cigar? Oh, thanks. I don't smoke. Well, what's on your mind, gents? Uh, Mr. Thunderbolt, uh, we want to hire your uh, guns. My guns? Oh, no. You see, if I hired out to you as a professional gunman and took money for my services, it might interfere with my standing as an amateur. But I couldn't do that. Oh, uh, we, we, we'll make it worth your while. Uh, please, uh, won't you reconsider? Say, what's this all about, anyhow? Mr. Thunderbolt, Coyote Gulch is about to be wiped off the map. Everything we have, everything we struggle for, we stand to lose. Well, that's too bad. But just what have I got to do with all this? They're going to put a railroad through this section. If Coyote Gulch gets it, it means our salvation. And furthermore, if we get the railroad, they've agreed to move the county seat over here. Well, what's holding you up? Plenty. Look at those empty stores over there. Not long ago, they were occupied and doing business. Well, what closed them up? Red Matthews and his gang, the rottenest bunch of cutthroats that ever infested a border country. Yes, they've made this town so bad that law-abiding people are afraid to come in here. And the town of Spotted Horse, just across the ridge, is back of it all. You mean Spotted Horse hired that mob to come over here and make trouble? They want the railroad, too. So they've deliberately driven trade away from here, turned our town into a hellhole to keep the railroad out. The president told us he'd heard of our reputation, and he didn't think it safe, in face of all this trouble, to favor us. 
Hmm, how'd you get around that? Well, in desperation, I wrote him back, telling him that we'd cleaned out the town and that Coyote Gulch was as safe now as the inside of a church. He's uh, coming out here to find out for himself, and we got to make good or we're sunk. Well, haven't you got a sheriff? Sheriff? <laughs> no. Oh, more elections for the sheriff than the dog has, please. Every time we get a prospect, Matthews runs him out of town. So, well, we finally gave up. Now, you keep Matthews and his gang out of here for one day, and you can have anything I've got. Say, I've changed my mind. I believe I will accept. Now you're talking business. And my fee will be three kisses. Kisses? And from whom do you expect to collect this uh, fee? There's a nice young lady right across the street in that little gem restaurant. She's nominated. You mean uh, Judy Lane? I don't know what her name is. That's the girl. Judy would never consent to that. Judy's a fine girl and a loyal citizen. I believe that she knew that the future coyote gulfs rest with her, she'd kiss a hippopotamus. Well, the least we can do is to... You're right. Well, young man, if you'll step into my office and make yourself comfortable, uh, we'll endeavor to gain the young lady's consent. Fine, fine. Right this way, huh? And Mr. Thunderbolt, sit down, make yourself comfortable, and uh, use my chair. Uh, uh, some more cigars. Oh, oh, I forgot, you don't smoke. Well, if anything's to read there, now you make yourself comfortable, we'll be right back. Hey. I've got an idea. Yes? Yeah? You might tell her that I want them kisses in three installments. One now. One whenever I feel like, one when the job's done. Why, certainly, Mr. Thunderbolt. Anything you want, we fix it up for you, Mr. Thunderbolt. Sit down, I'll make it such a We won't be long. Stay here. You stay here. We come back. Sure, I will. All, All right, right, come on. We'll go right back. We'll go right back. Come on, let's beat it out of here. I can't. Things are all right. Well, it's, uh, Judy has a. Uh, Graciously consented. Well, I'll... We, we leave you young folks alone. Uh, you know, uh, two's company and uh, five's a convention. And get out, boys. You're too young to watch this. Shoo! Shoo! Well, so long, Tarzan. It's too bad you got such a lunkhead for a master. Well, come on, let's get this over with. Well, I guess maybe I had better get started, hadn't I? Well, where are you? Well, uh, the Red Dog Saloon up there is a hangout for that Matthews crowd. That's one place I'd like to see closed. Well, I'll see what I can do about it. Uh, well, good, uh, good luck, Mr. Thunderbolt. Well, I'm not going to drink alone here. Hey! Come on and have a drink. Oh, thanks, partner, but I, I got in front of me now. 
I said have a drink with me. That'll be enough, boys. Be no more drinks served here till after Saturday. Is that so? Don't try that if you want to stay healthy. Now, come on, get out of here. Come on. Come on, get going. Fred Matthews and his gang. Yeah, and there's sure going to be fireworks now. Hello, Charlie. Come on, set up the drinks. We're plenty dry. Yes, Fred, but, but I can't. You know, I, I, uh... Hey, what's the matter with you? Sorry, gents. There'll be no more drink until after next Saturday. Yeah? Who says so? I do. Right now, I happen to be running this town. You don't tell. I do tell you. And I'm extending an invitation to you bunch to get out of town and stay out. You hear? Come on, boys. That's the way out. I get going. Put them up, hombre, or we'll drill you funny. So you're going to run me out of town, eh? And you're cutting off the liquor supply till after Saturday. <laughs> Barky, get out those bottles and plenty of them. Come on. Yes, sir. Now, Mr. Town Runner, you're going to drink with me. Then I'm going to ride you out of town on a rail. Say, partner, I speak to you private like. If you've got anything to say, say it here. I said private. I got a proposition I think might be mighty interesting to you. How about stepping in the back room? Well, I guess there's no harm in that. But be careful. Give me some beer, Mark. Come on, here. What's on your mind? Go have a drink with us. Why, you old horn toad, I thought you was leaving me. Well, I played nursemaid for you so long, it's kind of got to be a habit. And when I saw them hombres riding into town, I sneaked back. <laughs> That's great. Now, listen, I'll tell you what we'll do. Yeah? I'll get these hombres to come in one at a time. <laughs> Matthews wants to see you. Say, you take care of my girl till I come back, will you? Don't you worry, Bill. I'll take care of her. Come on, you worry about all this. What do you want with me, boy? I don't know just what he does want with you. I'll let the boy in here and find out where. Where is that? What do you want? Keep covered, nobody. Too bad. Then what's happening here, boss? Come on, hurry it up, Lefou. What? Come on, what is it? Come on, get out of here. Come on, get up. Hurry it up. Come on, let's go. Where are we going? What? Come on. Don't you? Get going. Don't you? Don't you? Come on. 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 Don't you? Now, come on, follow me. All of you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mind about that?
Rest a little bit, will you? Yeah. Lucky we didn't take all your clothes off. Give us a break. I'll get your running shoes on, you hear? And remember one thing. The next time I won't stop at your boots, I'll peel you right on down to your underwear, do you hear? Now, come on, get going. Oh. Come on. Hurry it up. Get going. Well, Navadi, we picked a mighty good place. Can't anybody get to town without passing by us. Uh-huh. But I still think I was a fool to let you talk me into this thing. Of all the weak-minded ideas, and all just for three little kisses. Uh. <laughs> You're always worried about something. Hey, nobody. That looks like an hombre one shot. It is him. And he's headed right for camp, too. Sure is. Hey, let's get out of sight for a minute. Right. All right, put him up. Looking for somebody in particular? Yeah, I was looking for you, Thunderbolt. Oh, the village bad man drops in for a friendly little call, eh? Thunderbolt, on the level. I'm for you. I want to hook up with you. How do you expect me to believe all that? I'm going to tip you off. You is going to sneak something into town. We've got the road covered. They never get by us. He might if they was on the stage. I just went by the relay station, and I saw some queer-looking mucks climbing aboard. I have an idea that part of Red's gang that you haven't met up with. We'll let him trail along with us, Nevada. We'll soon find out whether he's right or not. Well, now, what did I tell you? All right, boys. You stop him right there on the road. Come on. We want your passengers. Come on. Come on out of there. What's the meaning of this outrage? Well, well, gentlemen. Thought you'd put something over on me, huh? Coming out here all dolled up in these store clothes. Well, it ain't gonna work. Now, come on, get them off. Well, what do you mean? Say, I told Red the next time you fellas tried anything funny that I wasn't gonna stop at the boots. I was going to peel you clear down to your underwear. And I meant it. Now, come on, strip them off. What? My good man, do you know who I am? I'm the president. Oh, <laughs> sure. I'm the king, too. Now, come on, get going. Get them off. Take them off. Of course you'll take them off. Come on, peel them right down. Yes. Come on with them. I'll drop it. Drop that coat. What are you afraid of? Want to get it mussed up? You bored it, didn't you? Take that off. Drop it. Come on, you're not used to the collar anyhow. All right, come on, hurry it up and get going. I'll have the law on you for this. <laughs> then let's divide to keep looking. I'll get. Come on. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Oh, yeah. Hurry it up. <laughs> hey, hey, nobody. Get him done something and put him in the stage, will you? Right. <laughs> hey, Art. Hey, let's... I want you to take them duds in the Coyote Gulch. Tell the folks that I got them off from a couple of Red Matthews gang, will you? I got you, friend of gold. <laughs> hey, watch them hightail it, huh? Hey, you're Well, that's yours already. What you got on your mind now? Well, I don't know. It's gonna be dark pretty soon. Yeah. Might be a mighty fine night. I feel romantic. I might even go courting. I could get you to play your old guitar for me. Huh? Say, haven't I always told you to leave women alone? Ain't we got enough trouble now? Now, listen, everybody. This girl, Judy, she's much different. Ah. There they are. What did I tell you?
Say, Mr. Romeo, has it ever occurred to you that the lady might not let you in? Listen, she might not let me in, but when she hears you playing, she just naturally got to come out. Well, they say I do pick a mean string. Uh, maybe you're right. Sure you do. Now, buddy, now listen. When I get out of the house, you start playing something sad. Romantic. Something with a lot of feeling in it. You understand? Say, I got just what you want. Good boy. Now get in, will you? You take care of that, Umbre. One shot. Keep on playing. Yes, sir. What is this? Another one of your tricks? Sure, beautiful evening, isn't it? Don't you like good music? No. Why did you come here? Well, I, I come over here because, well, oh, I Oh, uh, I believe I know. You had other payments coming on your salary as a gunman. Well, now, well, that's not, that's not right. You don't understand. Gee, Miss Judy, I just had to see you. Can't we, can't we be friends? Me? Friends with a common gunman? A beast who forces girls to kiss him and who shoots people down in cold blood? No, thank you. All right, stop playing. Yes, sir. Now get on your horse and get out of here. Yes, sir. Matthews and his gang. They're surrounding the place. You're not going to wreck my house the way you did my restaurant. Gee, Miss, I hope not. <laughs> I'll settle with that gang outside. <gasps> you idiot! Do you want to be killed? Would you mind? Did he get you? No, just numb my hand a little bit. Gee, miss. Looks like every time we get together, something gets broke. Better put away your china. Looks like I didn't speak soon enough. What's the matter? Gotta reload. Get going. You're all through running things, Mr. Phantom Thunderbolt. Now, come on. Get going. Get in the house. Come on, take it. What's happened? 
My pardon, Miss Judy. He's badly hurt. I, I hate to trouble you like this, but... Oh, that's all right. Put him in my bedroom. I'll call the doctor. Thanks. Main, 6534. You better have some... Might be nice of you to do this. How do you suppose he's getting along? Oh, he'll be all right. Don't worry. Well, thanks. Is he all right, Doc? Any worse, is he? You mean he... Dad, the... Bernard, I want my tobacco. And I'd like to see any pill rolling horse doctor keep it away from me. Why, you lopsided old horn toad. I thought you was leaving me for good. I reckon I'm too ornery to die. Besides, who'd wet nurse you if I kicked the bucket? Well, that's right. But gosh, I'd like a chew of them. Say, listen, have tobacco, you can't have it, that's all. Say, I perforate any doggone soft ones that said I... Well... <laughs> I'm afraid you're disturbing my patient. I can't allow that, you know. You're right. Whatever you say goes. Say, look at here, you old horn toad. I'm going out camp. You'll be all right here, I know. Yeah, but if I just had that much tobacco... Listen... You do what the doctor and the nurse tells you, you hear? I won't be gone long. All right. Wouldn't you like some breakfast now? Yeah, I sure would. Mm -hmm. I'll fix it for you. Yeah? Is your partner really as bad as they say he is? Who, Thunderbolt? Uh -huh. Oh, say that young... Uh... Mom, he's ten times worse. Nobody's safe with him. He ain't got a friend in the world. Men, women, it's just... His... Women? Why, they're his specialty. He don't love them and leave them. He loves them and shoots them. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, it's true, every word of it. Miss Judy, I reckon is how I'm the biggest liar in the whole state of Arizona. You mean he's not a killer? Why, listen, honey, Ken Peters never killed nobody. Say, he's the most peace-lovingest fella that I ever knew. But how did he get this terrible reputation? Well, you might call it kind of a little publicity stunt. Publicity? Yeah. You see, Ken always figured that it wasn't a peace-loving fellow that always minded his own business that kept out of trouble, but the rip-snorting, gun-toting guy that always told everybody how tough he was, that's the fellow they keep away from. You mean he only made people believe he was a gunman? Sure. <laughs> of course, it was my idea. There he comes. Look out and don't miss. Don't worry, I never miss. Mr. Eaton will be here within the hour. Well, everything seems to be all quiet now. Well, where's that Thunderbolt fella? Well, that spotted horse gang is liable to come in here and start something at the last minute. Oh, we can only find Thunderbolt. Oh. Have you seen Thunderbolt? Well, no, isn't he in town? No, he is, isn't he in town? Certainly not. Well, that's peculiar. He left the ranch long before I did. Do you suppose he could have gone back? We'd better phone his home. In the name of... A... 1323 to the river. No, not liver, a river. Crazy, he's crazy he's about something wrong. Yes. Oh, is that you, Judy? Oh, hello, Mr. Wingate. How are you? Is the Thunderbolt there? No, no, he left here some time ago. 
Why, I don't know where he went. What? You don't think anything could have happened to him, do you? Goodbye. Now, Batty, what are you doing trying to get up? Now you get right back into bed. Ain't it a pity that you can't be in town to welcome that there railroad president? Yeah. Don't fret. I'll take that job off your hands. And we'll give him a rousing reception that he won't never forget. Well, I guess that'll hold him a while. Well, he won't be needing these. Well, come on, one top. Play a little faster there if you can stand it. Keep your eyes open, boys, and don't let that bird get away. Civilization, I'll make them pay for this. stage driver bought in two suits last night and left them at the stage office. Well, those must be my clothes. Evidently, they are yours. We'll go right over and get them. I'm so sorry, Mr. Eaton. <laughs> oh, my feet. that held us up, I'll... That's all right, Miss Eaton. We'll see that you're revenge for that, all right, all right. Say, Doc, it's about time to start the band, ain't it? Tell the boys you're ready. Sorry for me. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, that's good. That's good, boy. Good. Look at that Palomino. 
He's trying to get himself a... Let's see what he's doing. He's a pretty smart old pony, ain't he? Reckon he's gonna roll that barrel down the creek and fill her up for himself. <laughs> There's somebody in that barrel. Why, it's Thunderbolt. Hey, Bart! Stop that barrel! in bed with the boss now for letting him get away. Yeah, we'll have to get our horses and overtake Red and let him know about it. Let's get going. like a very nice, pleasant little city. We think so. Yes, sir. Spot for the railroad. Situated and prosperous looking, quiet and peaceful. Well, they've got the town all decorated for us. Yeah. Well, we'll do a little decorating of our own later on. Well, come on, boys. I thought you told me that sort of thing didn't go on here. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> just, just a bunch of cowboys <laughs> hooping it up. <laughs> Mr. Eaton, everything is perfectly all right. Now, won't you say a word to the folks in regard to the railroad? I'm sure they'd like to hear you. Yeah. 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 No. Well, why don't you know you're on my committee? Yeah, Mr. Wingate, don't worry. He'll be here. And in view of the fact that those ruffins from Spotted Horse have used such underhanded means to try and intimidate the people of Coyote Gulch. I have made up my mind that Coyote Gulch is going to get the railroad. Well, boys, I guess we'll take charge of this party from now on. <laughs> Don't want your rail. You can't 
not intimidate me. No matter what you try to do, the railroad is coming to Coyote Gulch. Hey, Coyote Gulch. Come on. I certainly am. Yeah, but well, before you do that, he'll run you out of town. That's that boy. That's that boy. Come on, get on. Hey, Judy, I'm afraid I didn't deserve that. I tried all right, but I guess I failed. Failed? Failed nothing. I haven't had so much fun since I was a kid. Does the town get the railroad? Are you a citizen of Coyote Gulch? Then I don't know. I'd be more willing to entrust my railroad to this town if I knew you were going to be here. You want me to stay? You know I do. Mister, I'm practically a citizen of Coyote Gulch right now. Then it's settled. Fine.